Game started. Cliff Rosario from India. Okay. Okay, Cliff. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, how about a uh, French, rather? I played a Sicilian last time. Oh, the immediate e5. So this uh, can transpose into an advanced variation, or if he takes, um, just helps uh, helps black's development. So not a particularly good opening for white. And just play normal moves as black and uh, get a good position. I think um, probably I want to play c5 here. Maybe kick kick the bishop first. Let's see if he wants to take. Yeah, he's not compelled to take. He can retreat to um, h4. It's a fine square for the bishop. That's probably what I would play, yeah. So now c5, and then I can play knight c3. I might want to bring the bishop back to uh, e7 to unpin at some point. But, uh, you know, open things up while the king is in the center. There's always a check with the queen along uh, this diagonal, so you have to... Uh, be careful about any pieces on the fourth rank here, fifth rank from white's point of view. White needs to be careful. Okay, well now um, I can gain a tempo against the queen. He can take here. Bishop takes, queen takes, queen takes, pawn takes. It messes up my pawns, but um, I, I just have such a lead in development, it's got to be good for black. His other idea might be knight to um, <clears throat> knight b5, trying to get into c7, or hitting the bishop. Castling. Castling queenside is probably a, not a bad idea. Oh, but he's going to do something about the queen. I'm forgetting. His queen is under attack, yeah. So he has no time for any other moves. He can either take the knight or retreat the queen. And he chooses to retreat. Okay. Now it is possible for him to play some of those other moves like castling, queenside, etc. So why don't I just um, <clears throat> unpin my uh, knight? See if he wants to trade queens. Then uh, I'm thinking of playing uh, a6 and b5 to uh, limit or restrict his knight. Okay, he goes for the knight move. So now a6 is not looking so good. That's uh, because it would open up the square b6 for the knight. And I play knight to d5. Um, encourage an exchange of that bishop. You know, if you can exchange off your opponent's already developed pieces when you have a lead in development, that leaves them with even fewer pieces. Ah, so he keeps the bishop. Okay, now I do need to do something about my light squared bishop here. So maybe simply b6. Uh, it opens up this diagonal, but my bishop is going to take that diagonal first in this case. His, his bishop has two moves to get onto that diagonal at least. And uh, I want to keep his knight out of um, c7. He can hop into d6. But uh, that would be interesting. Knight d6, bishop takes, bishop takes, queen takes, and then pawn to uh, c5 would attack the pinned knight. So he would get his piece back, but he would lose a, a pawn in the process. So I think that is still good for black. Then I'm just going to play 
Bishop uh, b7, queen c7, and rook, probably the f rook, to uh, d8, putting it opposite the queen. And uh, his bishop to here is not yet menacing anything. A potential menace in the future. Oh, I can't play queen c7. Yeah, that's that's uh, one flaw in my position here. His bishop actually is pretty good on g3, cutting across this diagonal. So queen c8, rook d8 is still possible. Just a little more awkward, but I, I want to get out of this potential pin on the d-file and create a uh, reverse pin. He uh, might be thinking of castling queenside here because he's evacuated his queenside pieces. Mm, another idea, maybe, is to play b5, hitting the knight. And uh, anywhere it goes, I can take it. If it comes forward to d6, b6, a5, it can get taken. Even here, it can get traded. Or it can go back to a6 or to e6. And then I can play um, a6 myself. I can go back to a3 <laughs> or e3. Yeah, so b5, knight moves, and then a6 supporting supporting the pawn on b5. I think that's a good idea because that will allow me to contest these uh, dark squares here, so that's why I'm chasing that knight away. Maybe put my bishop. Hmm. Although, I, again, I have to worry about the pins. The pins on the d-file. So what's going on here? He's just got to play bishop takes, right? So he's got uh, two bishops bearing down on my king, and he's this pawn is hanging, so I have to throw an a6. So it's possible he has some activity here that I overlooked, underestimated. I can play bishop f6, counterattacking his bishop, where it's supported by the knight. This pawn on uh, f3, I guess he played that to blunt my uh, bishop on this diagonal, but it does block in his knight. Okay, so now let's, let's start to worry, because queen here, queen to g3 does threaten things. And the bishop, however, is loose. Uh, so it's possible to play knight takes uh, c3. Maybe that's good for uh, shock value or something. Knight takes c3. He can't play rook to um, d1, trying to set up a discovered attack on my queen, because a knight from c3 would be guarding d1. So he takes, and I play queen takes bishop. If he doesn't take, he moves the bishop, then uh, where does the knight go? can either move or defend the bishop. I guess the knight just retreats. <clears throat> you can sack the bishop too. Bishop h7, but I don't see... Oh, he could play... No, actually, he can't play bishop takes e4 because the b5 because the knight takes back. Ah, so he just goes for the uh, the direct mate. And I don't have time to take there. But here is adequate, is it not? Ah, oh, there's a flaw. There's a flaw in my thinking. So if I play bishop to there, and he takes, and I take back with a queen as force because the pawn is pinned, 
then he can grab my knight. So that's pretty clever. So I have to uh, block this way. Bishop takes, bishop takes, and I'm still hitting his, uh, his bishop. Okay, so he's defended his bishop. That's kind of what I was expecting. So, um, uh, but this bishop is hanging. Ah, but uh, he's threatening mate. <laughs> well, it's not mate, is it? Okay, so if I take his bishop, queen h7 check, king here, bishop g6 check, King up is the only move. King to um, King to f6. And then what's follow on? What's the follow on? And are there other moves? That's I don't I don't actually see another move to block uh, this diagonal here. So that, that was neat, the queen on uh, g6 protecting the bishop. I, I missed that idea. So queen here check, king here, queen here check. Actually, if he just comes back, he's, he's got a uh, perpetual, so he could draw this game right now. <laughs> kind of a shame. Kind of a shame to uh, end up in a draw after all of this, but uh, still an interesting game. So I wonder if I had any better, or if I had already blundered this knight, knight c3 fancy trick was maybe too fancy. But queen here check, king, uh, queen h7 check, king f7, bishop g6 check, king f6, and I just don't see another check after that. So I think I am okay at that point. And his queen's a little bit Check. cramped there. Check. So that's the question. Does he have anything here? He played that awfully quick. He must have made up his mind. But again, he, he could have gone for the perpetual and, and gotten a draw there. Ah, well, that's a neat trick. So queen here is now the threat. Let's see. So I don't have a, a check on the king, do I? Okay, queen here, check. I need to move the bishop out of the way. So let's set up uh, this threat on his queen. Check on g6, check. king to um, e7. Check here on either, uh, yeah, check on uh, g7, king to e6. Check. And now the queen can grab over here on, um, ah, he played there. I was saying, you know, the rook here. He probably wants to get the rook to uh, rook to d1, but that's not happening. Check. Because of this check. The knight was guarding that square, and then if he takes the knight, then the bishop uh, takes the rook. So uh, he wants the other rook to come there. Could happen. Check. Let's get the queen out of the way. Then, uh, ah, then I can pin his queen. <laughs> so, doing the reverse of what he wanted to do to me. He wanted to uh, skewer my king and queen, and I, I pin his queen to his king. Well, I hope this recording comes out. I had some trouble with the, uh, the recordings on some other games, but this is a cute game. I'd like to upload it. So I don't see a move for white here. Um, well, he can play check. My plan, if he plays check, is to play bishop to um, d5 there, just blocking the check. White my bishop. resigns. And, uh, okay, uh, good game. I will do the postmortem, see where I went wrong, because uh, cause he did have a chance to draw it there, and I really 
had a winning position, so I shouldn't allow my opponent those uh, drawing shots. Okay, see you guys later. Bye.